Hello and welcome to DCBA. Uh, in today's lecture, we'll be solving numericals uh, pertaining to the standard soil classification. So, in my previous video lecture, I I had showed what Indian standard soil classification is basically about, and uh, let us start solving the numericals. So, what is given here is that two soil data are given, and uh, we have to classify them according to Indian standard classification of soils. So soil A has liquid limit of 60 and a plasticity index of 30 and percentage 75 microns retained is 90. So 95% is oh sorry percentage less than 75 microns is 90 and uh, percent gravel is 0% sand is 10 okay then uh, b plasticity index liquid limit not given percentage less than 75 is 100 gravels are zero sand is zero okay so what we can do is that soil a since percentage less than that is this minus you can see here minus is given so it means percentage less than 75 microns is 90 percent we know that 75 microns is the distinguishing criteria between a fine grained soil and a coarse grained soil so if more than 50 percent is passing through 75 micron it's a fine grained soil if more than 50 percent is retained on uh, 75 microns it's a coarse grained soil so since uh, more than 50% is passing through 75 microns or it is less than 75 microns therefore it's a fine grained soil plasticity index is given as 0.73 wl minus 20 sorry this ip this ip is nothing but uh, the equation of equation of this line equation of this line and it is 0 0.73 wl minus 20 okay so we need to find the equation of this line wl that is liquid limit is given which is 60 so 0 0.73 into 60 minus 20 which comes out to 29.2 so the for liquid limit of 60 as you know that here it is liquid limit and here it is plasticity index for a liquid limit of 60 the plasticity index on this line is 29.2 and we are given the plasticity index of our soil to be 30 it means that our plasticity it, our soil lies above the a line right somewhere here let's say let's say that this is 60 and this is 29.2 and this is 30 okay so our, our soil lies above the a line and any soil which is lying above the a line is clay in nature and any soil lying below the a line is silt or organic matter correct so this is our a line as you can see since ip is given as 30 soil a lies above a line and the soil a is a fine grained clay with high high compressibility because our liquid limit is 60 right and it is greater than 50 so if liquid limit is greater than 50 it is of high compressibility and since it's lying above a line it's a clay so it is a ch next soil which is uh, less than 75 microns and since it's 100 percent less than 75 microns it is a highly organic soil and since there is no plasticity index no liquid limit as well it, it is nothing but a highly organic soil question 2 percentage passing from 75 micron is 8 percent percentage retained on 4.75 mm is 35 percent coefficient of curvature 2.5 coefficient of uniformity 7 
liquid limit 15% and plasticity index 3% classify the soil as per Indian standard soil classification so as we know that R75 microns is the distinguishing criteria between a fine grained soil and a coarse grained soil so since <clears throat> only 8% is passing through through the 75 microns and 98% sorry 92% is retained on it it means it's a coarse grain soil right then second distinguishing criteria comes at 4.75 mm sieve where we have sand on one side and gravels on the other side correct so if more than 50% is passing through your 4.75 mm sieve it's a sand if more than 50% is retained it's a gravel so what they are saying that percentage retained on 4.75 is only 35% it means that 65% is passing through it it means it's a sand correct then comes coefficient of curvature which is 2.5 and uh, therefore i have told you the limits of if it is one between one and three uh, and this coefficient of uniformity seven therefore it's a well graded sand sw so from sand we came to know that the letter has to be s from well graded we came to know that the second letter has to be w let me just clear this on liquid limit uh, we have 15 percent okay and uh, plasticity index is three percent so it is lying somewhere here down right even the even our a line equation of a line starts from 20 so our soil is before this somewhere here so it's a silt swsm first of all it's a well graded sand and secondly it's a silty sand okay question three liquid limit is 40 percent plasticity index 10 percent percentage passing is 4.75 mm c is 60 percent percentage passing 75 microns is 45 percent okay so this this gives us that percentage passing is 45 therefore percentage retained is 55 percent therefore it's a coarse grain soil second criteria which is passing from 4.75 is 60 percent so it's a sand liquid limit 40 percent plasticity index 10 percent so the equation of a line is uh, your for your liquid limit of liquid limit of 40 percent this value is nothing but how much 14.6 okay and the plasticity index is given to us is 10 therefore our soil is lying below our a line and since it's a sand and it is here in this zone zone of intermediate compressibility so the soil is below a line and soil is silty sand with with intermediate compressibility intermediate compressibility okay <clears throat> question four this has to be fourth i'm sorry a sample of inorganic soil has following grain size characteristics the liquid limit is 55 percent plastic limit is 31 percent classify soil as per indian standard classification system so size of 2 mm percent passing is 95 size of 75 microns this is 0 0.075 mm is nothing but 75 microns so percentage passing through 75 microns is 78 percent okay so definitely this is a fine grained soil right 
<coughs> liquid limit is 55 therefore it since is greater than 50% therefore it's a high compressibility plasticity index is now what they have given is not plasticity index but they have given plastic limit plasticity index is given as liquid limit minus plastic limit and it is 55 minus 31 which is 24 percent now for our a line equation for a liquid limit of 55 it will come out to be a value of 25.55 percentage and what we are getting is 24 percent of plasticity index it means it's lying below a line therefore it's a silt soil is inorganic silt with high plasticity first of all it's it's a fine grained soil right and uh, in fine grained soil we have either uh, we have inorganic clay we have inorganic silt and we have highly organic matter so we are getting inorganic silt with high plasticity mh so this completes the numericals there are very few numericals in this particular topic but uh, th these are important yeah the important ones so let's meet in our next video lecture till then see you take care